What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Toyota Prius, courtesy of Younger Toyota in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because of course it has been completely redesigned for the 2023 model year. And it looks dang good, in my opinion. It no longer looks like what a Prius used to look like which is definitely a good thing but anyways rumor has it this thing is actually kind of quick this year as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2023 prius first one being the one i was driving in this video being the le starting at twenty seven thousand four hundred and fifty dollars xle for thirty thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars and then the limited starting at thirty four thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars and by the way that was all pricing for the front wheel drive variant if you wanted to add all wheel drive like we had in this drive you can do that by simply adding fourteen hundred dollars then to any of those prices but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder with a lithium ion battery so it is a hybrid configuration of course putting out 196 horsepower for the all-wheel drive but then 194 horsepower so slightly less for the front wheel drive variant 152 combined pound feet of torque power sent to the front wheels or all wheels to a cvt zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.1 seconds with the top speed in case you were interested of 115 miles per hour mpg numbers are going to differ slightly as well 57 in the city 56 on the highway for the front wheel drive le 52 city 52 highway for the front wheel drive for the other trim levels but then the all-wheel drive le is going to give you 53 in the city 54 on the highway but taking regular unleaded fuel and so before we do that acceleration test i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually a little toggle switch located directly behind the shifter if you play around with that you got custom sport normal and eco but there is also a button for that full ev mode as well so ultimately those drive modes are going to adjust things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the prius here to the test in sport driving mode and let's see if the rumors are correct and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 toyota prius here up to speed all right you guys in three two one go whoa that's an instant acceleration gotta love that hybrid that is quick that is quick this is a fun prius i wasn't expecting that i guess the rumors are correct this thing definitely has a decent acceleration this time around it's not just a fuel efficient car although it still is of course just take a look at the epa numbers but this is a fun car too man there's plenty of acceleration obviously not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway and the best thing about the prius is there wasn't any lag on that initial punch because it is a hybrid so it is kind of instant acceleration not to the point as a full ev would have but still plenty of an acceleration instantly available so i loved it that was fun actually but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so when it comes to braking up front you will find 11.1 inch ventilated front discs for the front wheel drive however those front discs are bumped up to 12 inches in the front if you were to go with the all-wheel drive configuration but then 11 inch solid rear discs for all trim levels in the back regardless of configuration as far as that 60 zero stopping distance is going to come in at approximately 123 feet and so as far as braking feel goes since there is nobody behind us let's just whoa that is brilliant that is one of the better braking feels i've felt in a while it brakes like a performance car honestly so it's not like a super firm braking feel it's not a soft braking feel it's a different braking feel and different in a very very good way it immediately brings you to a stop that is wonderful that's unlike anything i've driven in a while in terms of braking feel goes so that is pretty cool but Anyways, then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. And so as far as steering feel goes, actually, in sport driving mode, it does lean on the heavier side of things. I absolutely love the steering feel. I'm having trouble finding things I don't like about this new Prius, which is kind of 
It's kind of odd saying that phrase, but anyways, the steering feel is brilliant, not to the point of like a Tesla steering feel, which is super weighted, but um, I obviously I prefer that, but still, this is brilliant. This is a brilliant steering feel for the Prius, definitely on the heavier side of things. And actually, just for a little uh, experiment here, let's go ahead and put it in eco driving mode. It loosened up a little bit, but it's still kind of on the heavier side of things. I really like the steering feel in the Prius. Well done, Toyota. Did a wonderful job with that. As far as uh, cabin noise goes, that is one thing I did notice immediately. There is a, a decent amount of wind noise coming into the cabin. Not so much the road noise, but the wind noise. You do hear a little bit coming into the cabin, so I did want to mention that. As far as ride quality goes, now that has been perfectly fine in my short test drive. Uh, even for a uh, kind of a compact car as it is, it's soaking up the road imperfections quite nicely, although these are some dang smooth roads right now. They were just freshly paved last month, but still, ride quality has been perfectly fine in my short test drive here. Touching on rear visibility, I can see pretty darn good out the back. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, so rear visibility is perfectly fine, so don't have any issues there. And another thing, I kind of like where the gauges are sitting right here because it gives me better focus on what is in front of me in terms of forward visibility because the gauges are kind of in my line of sight, whereas with most vehicles, you do have to look down a decent amount more in order to uh, see what speed you're going. But with the gauges in the new Prius here, it's kind of just where I'm looking. I can just barely glance down, see my speed, and then look back up. So I actually love the gauge placement. I've seen mixed reviews on that just because of uh, the steering wheel doesn't adjust with the gauges. But for me, my driving position has been perfectly fine. But we'll get more into that a little bit later in the video. But that pretty much rounds off the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Toyota Prius. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new completely redesigned for 2023 Toyota Prius with a lower roof line and a wider stance, making it for a much more aggressive look overall. I actually do like the styling of the new Prius. For once, it looks dang good. And so, as always, let's go ahead and start with where the new Prius is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the letter J, indicating that the new 2023 Prius is built and assembled in Japan, a JDM Prius, love it. So up front you will find active grille shutters which will open and close depending upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. To the sides, bi-LED headlights do come standard on all trim levels across the board with LED daytime running lights and the automatic feature and automatic high beams as well. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there, so love that feature and I do like the shape of the new headlights they're kind of like a c-shaped look so it looks very good in my opinion so front end it's definitely done very well but then making our way to the side gloss black window surrounds do come standard gloss black power adjustable sign mirrors as well which by the way are heated for all trim levels taking a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch alloy wheels with covers for the le 19 inch alloy sm for the xle and limited trim levels and again you got now a very low hood line for the prius a very distinct look on the side profile so definitely a fan but then making our way to the back of course you got that body colored shark fin antenna got the Prius lettering spelled out horizontally that definitely looks nice LED taillights with the LED stop light as well I like that and I like how it's just one LED light bar all the way across it's a cool look to it and one of my favorite parts in the back here was uh, if you remove the license plate behind that license plate in the back there it actually says since 1997 so that is a cool little Easter egg for the Toyota Prius it's kind of hidden only if you take off the rear license plate will you see that. So interesting placement, but that's what Easter eggs are, I suppose. Just below it all, you will find a single exhaust outlet. And we'll say before we do this exhaust clip, typically with hybrids, it's only going to uh, start up real quick for you. And then most likely it's going to shut off, but you can't actually rev it or anything like that. So as always, here is that. I won't call it an exhaust clip, but a startup. And so now since we are around to the back of the Prius, when it comes to opening that rear hatch, of course, is a manual hatch. So once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 23.8 cubic feet for the LE, 20.3 cubic feet for the XLE Unlimited, so a little bit less there. There is a 60-40 split though, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. LED cargo lighting can be found back there. There's some crow plated tie-down anchors as well. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a tie 
tire inflator kit as opposed to the spare tire. But then make your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 34.8 inches. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is no rear center armrest. There's uh, no rear ventilation either, but there is dual rear USB charging port. So I did like that at least. But then make our way up to the front seats. Manually adjustable cloth seating does come standard. You will get soft text upholstery though for the XLE and limited trim levels. Eight-way power adjustable front seat with a power lumbar for the driver for the XLE and limited trim levels. Then the limited is going to add to that heated and ventilated front seats as well, which is pretty darn cool. Overall, seating was actually perfectly fine. I had no issues with seat comfort driving the Prius here. So then making our way to the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It will come with a soft text finish like the seating for the XLE and Limited, and it will be heated actually for the XLE and Limited trim levels as well. So then making our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key. I like the Prius lettering on the one side. When you flip it over, pretty basic lock, unlock, but it is all keyless entry with the push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button kind of just by the driver's right knee there and so once started up actually did like the gauge cluster seven inch lcd gauge cluster shows the digital speed kind of right in your line of vision as well so i was a big fan of that there are steering wheel mounted controls so you can actually adjust a little bit what is on those gauges but Overall, I like the placement of the gauges. Definitely helps better keep my eyes on the road, so I was a fan of that. But then, make our way to overall interior quality. There is a fixed glass roof for the limited trim level. That's going to be optional on the XLE. We didn't have it in our LE, of course, today. Automatic climate control does come standard for all trim levels. There is an auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls for the XLE and limited trim levels. Wireless phone charger for those two trims as well. Of course, you got an electromechanical parking brake. There's a little uh, phone tray just to the right of everything there then within the center armrest there's actually a decent amount of space within that center armrest with two phone charging ports as well and a little bit of rubberized storage just in front of the shifter there's some more phone charging ports there and one of the coolest things i found in the prius was a little hidden compartment how do i know it's a hidden compartment because within that hidden compartment it says hashtag hidden compartment so I thought that was absolutely hilarious that Toyota put that. But anyway, dual cup holders, of course, coming standard right there as well. And really the only downside to the interior was there was a decent amount of uh, hard plastics found on the doors and uh, just overall. So it's to be expected though. They're trying to keep the price low, I suppose. But soon now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. Eight inch color touchscreen display coming with the LE and XLE trim levels. 12.3 inch color touchscreen display then coming with the limited Bluetooth and audio streaming Coming standard Android Auto Apple CarPlay and by the way that is wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay coming standard as well I liked that check out your driving statistics up on that screen if you wanted to and of course your radio information and so when it comes to the sound systems there are two of them you will get a six speaker sound system for the LE and XLE trims then an eight speaker JBL sound system for the limited so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Go to places you ain't never dreamed about, from up north and down south. That is actually a very decent sound system for the Prius. Plenty of bass, plenty of clarity. That was really good. Prius, stop impressing me, man. That was a really good sound system. I love that. And so the last thing on the infotainment screen I wanted to mention to you guys, of course, when you do put the Prius in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Panoramic view monitor is gonna be optional, but it doesn't come standard. But then make our way to safety. Prius is not yet rated by IIHS. So we'll start off by saying that. I can't comment on that quite yet, but front side side current airbags do come standard, but also rear side impact airbags. That doesn't always come standard on other vehicles out there. Also in the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 for all trim levels, which will include a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar, cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, proactive driving assist, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, and safe exit assist then as well. And then if you were to go with the XLE or Limited, that is going to add to that front and rear parking sensors. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the Prius, it is kind of like a performance car now almost. It's a nice sports sedan, I'll put it that way. It's pretty darn quick. It has a great steering feel to it, nice heavy weight to it. 
The gauge placement is great as well. I keep telling you guys that. I like being able to actually see my speed and see the road at the same time. It looks dang good. This is a heck of an improvement over the old design of the Prius. Great MPGs, of course. You get over 50 miles per gallon. You can't beat that. As far as room for improvement goes, for me personally at least, I do wish it had a spare tire. I don't like the tire inflator kits, but I think most people are used to the spare tire and it's just easier for them like myself. So I would have preferred that. And there is a lot of cheap material on the interior of the Prius as expected. I, I would imagine to keep the price low, but maybe that would change with the limited trim. I had the LE in this video, but I will say that there's a good bit of hard plastics in this one. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video, stay gold.